Hey everybody, I'm your host Justin Lee for GearTactics.com, formerly TechMamba.com. Today we are checking out an HD Endure Antenna. It is made by DigiWave. Is that supposed to be an E at the end or is that a flag? DigiWav. DigiWave? Picture perfect. Image parfait. Yeah, nice French there. And this is model ANT4500. It's one of those uh, flat antennas. So you see you can hang it off a window. Uh, it's not ultra flat like a piece of paper, like those uh, ones that stick directly onto the window. This is a BMX HD digital antenna. HDTV. You must have an ATSC tuner in your HDTV. Well, okay, I don't, don't understand why they have HD twice, but all right. I'm not sure what these logos mean, but uh, they appear to be fake probably. I don't know what in the world. This made up, made up logo that they all uh, DVBT makes sense, but uh, it is only for digital signals on the side here. Did you wave or did you wav again? Nothing much on this side. Oh, on the back, what do we got here? Uh, instructions. Ooh. Let's see. Sti stick this on your window and plug it into the back of your. That is not an HDTV, folks. Stick it into your HDTV coax in. It's got uh, specifications here. It says it will gain 2 dB. Yeah, right, it'll gain 2 dB. There's the frequency and the output. And a barcode if you want to take a look at it. Oh, not much else on here. Uh, obviously made in China. Let's see if it's actually as good as a uh, Philips Silver Sensor. That is the best indoor antenna. Uh, Channel Master makes a similar one. Uh, this costs a whooping $15 Canadian. Uh, you can buy it at Best Buy. Uh, there's a couple of uh, Amazon Canada sells it. Uh, you can also get it in the States on various resellers as well. Uh -huh. Interesting instructions, not really. Innovative flat razor thin antenna design. Receives both VHF and UHF channels. Yeah, right. Multi directional design pulls in signals from all directions. Uh, yeah, HD is very, um, direction specific, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Suction fasteners, uh-huh, all right. So, just tells me how to plug it in. Frequently asked questions. Uh -huh. What is the range of the BMX antenna? You must live within 50 miles of over-the-air broadcast antenna. Uh-huh, how do I mount it? Uh-huh. Uh, does it work with a tube TV? It does it with a converter box. Mm -hmm. uh, it is only designed for indoors. All right. Can I use a splitter? Yeah, you really shouldn't use a splitter on an HD antenna. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's not much in there. <laughs> wow. i open this up. Okay, so there it is. Oof, this uh, coax, this is not a coax cable. This is some sort of weird, thin, I don't know, cheap cable they had lying around. This is definitely not a proper coax cable. Yeah, I'm worried about the shielding on that. Oh, apparently this is screwed on. It would be nice if I can get, there we go. Yep, as quality's a little bit new. And there are the suction cups. Uh, little screws holding this in. I'm guessing that's protecting the welds to the antennas here, as you can see the line here. Oh, and this all the way around. Yep. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this on the window toward the general direction of the HDTV towers and we will shall compare the signal to a silver sensor or channel master indoor antenna. I'll be right back. So here I have the HD antenna stuck to the window that is facing toward the TV antenna towers. Uh, suction cups actually hold pretty well. So let's do some channel scans and see how good or bad this is. And here we got full signal from uh, Zia silver sensor and with this antenna we have one bar. That's unwatchable, folks. All right, so let's try another channel here. This channel has half signal. As you can 
See, it works. And we have zero. All right, so <laughs> going to try full signal. You can't get more signal than this without blowing up your TV. All right, so it had a little more signal and it is watchable, but most channels did not work. So that was an utter, almost epic fail other than the uh, one channel that it caught because the signal is actually very strong. The uh, DigiWave BMX HD digital antenna, unfortunately, is a piece of crap. Yeah, what do you expect for such a tiny little antenna uh, with a very cheap cable and probably very crappy welds? Uh, not very impressed with this even for $15. You're actually better off saving and getting a Channel Master indoor antenna or a uh, Philips Silver sensor. Uh, those are the best indoor HD antennas and you'll probably definitely want to invest in that instead of cheaping out and getting a $15 antenna. Unless you can literally see the uh, tower from the window, I definitely do not recommend that you buy this antenna. So, uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, that's at Gear Tactics. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, that's facebook.com slash Gear Tactics. And of course, we have a website, that's www.geartactics.com. Don't forget to like the video and of course, subscribe to it so you are notified when there are new videos. I'm your host, Justin Lee. Catch you in the next video.